Hello, it's Dorival. Today I will show you how to create a database on AWS environment and how to connect that connect your Spring Boot application on AWS database. So let's get started. To create your database, if you use your database only for test, you can avoid it to to have a desired, a desired expenses, going on the bottom and click on only enable option free usage tire. So uh, I choose MariaDB, that is a open, is a community version of MySQL database, and uh, click on next on the bottom. Uh, there is some options here. You, we, we use the, the full instance, and there is a free instance here, uh, the, the default storage, and the, this is out scale, this is an important feature, uh, AWS has created that feature recently, that uh, if your database uh, is near to the limit storage, AWS will out scale your storage. So you don't need to start your storage with maybe terabytes. You can start with 20 gigabytes. And when you are near to use that storage amount, the amount of storage, AWS will out scale the storage for you. But we will not use that right now. Um, here uh, in settings, you have to put your instance name, uh, the master username. Uh, it's good to take note of the, your password because you, you need to access the database later. Then click on next. And uh, there are some more options about the network, VPC and Sub, uh, subnet group, but uh, we you want to use the default options here. No need to to change a security group right now, and no no need to change parts or parameter group for this test option. And uh, AWS will create backups for you. You don't need to change it or you and put it one day, but we will not use the backup for this machine, for this database. And then uh, I will, there is a del the deletion protection. Deletion protection will avoid you to, to accidentally delete your database instance. But as I want to use that database only for test, I will disable this protection. Then click on create database. It will take several minutes here in DB instance. Our instance is the live true. Is it still creating? But uh, do not spend too much time. Uh, I will connect with the previous instance I have created here. So that this is instance three that is already running to connect your Spring Boot application. Uh, that is a important point here. So uh, let me show. It is a common Spring Boot application with uh, some controller and uh, some entity and uh, a repository to to a crude repository for this entity. And the, the configuration on application dot properties. And here is the connection I want to connect. If I want to connect to the, the local to the local instance, the local database, uh, I will use local host here. So uh, let's make a test here on localhost and start this Spring Boot application. Where is our localhost? Localhost. Live class. 
and you can see our table here. Uh, our table is this Uso Ario table. So uh, let's put some record here. Save this, and then let's access. Uh, why is this table called Uso Ario? Because uh, we have a mapped this entity to usuario. We inserted a record here and then we will access that uh, application again. And here is the new record you inserted here. Uh, now I want to migrate my database to AWS. So uh, I go to the AWS console on RDS. Let's see the databases. And the database is live class 3. So, uh, to connect to that database, you needed to find the endpoint here. So, uh, you have to copy this endpoint. So, in application.property. In the place to use localhost, you will put the endpoint of the AWS database. So let's start restart the application. We hope it, the JPA created created our database. So I want to do a post and insert uh, some data. In this, let's see, insert some data here. This data is stored on AWS database. And the subscribe the channel. And so you help me to create more great content to share in this channel.